Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got a picture up of the GTR. I've never actually driven the GTR anywhere other than off of the trailer and then parked it in front of the garage. This video is pretty much just going to be me going around the vehicle and inspecting it, looking for any major rust that's hidden underneath the uh, fenders and the rear bumper, etc. And uh, just compiling a list of things that I need for the build. Hope you enjoy. So, I've already begun teardown of the GTR. These headlights are pretty much useless. Someone put N1 headlights on this car and a whole bunch of retrofit crap. So, it's pretty much useless to me at this point. We gotta get some new headlights. We gotta replace these connections. Unless they left the original one in there, which it looks like they might have done that. Um, new corner lights. I mean, I might be able. No, I can't. Because they glued this one as well. I don't know if you can see that. And then on this side, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, it's supposed to go in this square right there. But fortunately, it doesn't. So, I've got to replace all the headlights. Everything else is looking pretty good. Voila. Things relatively easy to take apart. So someone did a little bit of a hack job with the uh, fuel system wires. Um, I'm gonna look inside the gas tank, and then I'm gonna trace the wires to see kind of what they did. If it's you know if it looks decent I'll leave it or if the fuel pumps decent I'll leave it and I'll go from there I'm going to replace these seals so just grab it pull it out proper ways to use those uh, those special tools to pry out those plastic clips but I don't got time for all that See, these seals look like they've shrunken down a little bit so the door doesn't close properly. As you can see on the car, pretty much the carrier for the weather strip is all dry rotted and shitty looking, so I'm gonna replace the whole thing. But it's an interesting piece. Let's see, look under there. Four boards looking good. I was going to replace the seal, but um, it's honestly no more in the truck, so I'm probably going to just leave it.
but compared to any S13 you have seen, this is nothing. So all I'm gonna do is get a wire wheel, let's take it down to metal and uh, just give it a nice coating, of maybe like 415 or something. As for the interior, definitely needs a good cleaning. Um, the passenger side seat is actually pretty damn good because I don't know if you probably noticed most GTRs, the seats don't look blue. They look uh, gray like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see the back seat, but you can see the top of it is a little sun damaged. And then the actual bench seat is is blue on the bottom but both front seats are are blue that one's a little torn so I'm actually starting to believe that the mileage is somewhat accurate I do think the motor has been replaced um, not even think I know the motor has been replaced and I'm guessing whether or not it's a built motor so I'm gonna get a bore scope, look down the cylinders to see if I see any uh, forged pistons. Because I don't know if you can tell from here, but the block is orange. So someone's definitely been in there. I'm also gonna check uh, to see if the crank snap has been modified and then go from there so all right folks i think that's it for today i really just felt like doing some investigation and uh you know strip the car down a little bit a few things i'm definitely gonna have to to fix on here one of them of course being the headlights And some rust proofing all up in the front. Yeah, this this car has uh, has some upgrades on it. It's too bad a lot of them are gonna have to come off. Whew. My goodness, start stripping off the turbos and these little fuckers down in there. You see them? You see them? Those nuts are impossible to get to. I almost had that one out right there, but then my wrench dropped and I did not hear it hit the ground. So it's stuck back there somewhere and I have to purchase another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy two. So in case I do drop another one, I don't have to wait until tomorrow morning. But, I got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five more to go. Four more to break loose. But as you can see here, I have HKS turbos. Unfortunately, I do not know which ones I have. Um, but whoever owned the car, You know, upgraded the fuel system, upgraded the injectors. So I'm assuming they are the bigger ones. Hopefully they are, so I can sell them and get some money back for whatever the single uh, setup's gonna cost me. <sighs> gonna keep moving on. Okay, so I've taken out the rear glass seal, and I know this looks like rust up here, but it's really not, it's just dirt. Here, there was some surface rust, so I'm just gonna make sure I get that all the way back to the metal and then treat it, and so on and so forth. Just a lot of dirt. So, got lucky on that side. On this side, same deal. There was a little bit of surface rust right here. And that's honestly, I think just because these seals are so bad, the water just has a chance to come down and rest right here. So I'll take that back to metal and then treat it properly. 
Let's see. So this is the original paint job right here. Um, may have been painted black at some point. Then that's primer, and then this is, yeah, that's the next layer of paint right there. But taking out side seals, I'm lying. Just a little bit of surface rust in there, but I'm gonna take care of that, which honestly shouldn't take me any time. Um, I may pull the glass out just to make, I don't wanna say make it easier, but to do a better job. Um, Cause you can't really get in here like that and make sure that everything's sealed perfectly and cleaned out. So I think that is honestly my best bet right there. But uh, yeah, this car just really has a little bit of surface rust, you know, on bolts, stuff like that. But in the areas where it matters, there's really nothing substantial. All of these areas I'm gonna retreat, hit them with a wire wheel and then spray them with some of the latest and greatest rust protection. Um, Normally you would see a fuck ton of rust here on any Nissan. And as you can see, there's really nothing to talk about. So I'm gonna treat all of that. Um, at some point, I'm gonna remove these side skirts. And then search for rust in here. But as I've said before, like if you look in there, really nothing little bit of surface rust back here and you can see that's where all the rocks kick up but I'm gonna wire wheel that treat it and then in the future you know this should keep this car in the road for a long ass time focus in there but you see very 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 light surface rust so this is all all stuff that you catch now see, these fenders were rolled a little bit I'm guessing they were running wider wheels at some point so when they rolled it you can see where the paint is is cracked and there's like a little bit of rust in there so all surface rust. I'm gonna pull this glass. Cause as you can see, whoever sanded this damn car, they cut through the paint in certain areas and it rusted. So my goal is to make sure that I get all of these little, you know, areas, seal them properly or, or use some sort of rust converter so that I never have to worry about them you know, or I won't have to worry about them for like 10 years or so. Removing this intake manifold is a job I wouldn't wish on my worst enemies. I mean, my goodness. It honestly makes me want to go single uh, throttle body, which is most likely what I'm going to do just in case, because I really would hate to ever have to take this thing off twice. rear of the car luckily accident free all the original seals are in place uh, I see a little bit of rust right here I don't know exactly what I should do with that but there's no rust on the back side under there just a little bit here so I'm gonna clean that up and then uh Pour 15 in. The other side has absolutely nothing. A little bit of surface rust right here. Someone must have scratched it or something. And the same on this side. It's like something just got through the paint. So, I'll touch that up. 
and then back end should be good to go as far as rust prevention.